Uh, hello, Mr. Ass Fan here. Once again, we are actually reviewing a, a quite anticipated figure for me. Um, I'd always wanted to get this one. I actually didn't think I could. Because, uh, yeah, I, I kind of had a budget and, uh, that I, I had enough money to get it. And, uh, oh, here's, uh, here's something. So, the full Scorpius Rex review will be coming, but I want to do the Scorpius Rexes in, like, one phase. And, yeah, I am getting the Scorpius Rex Danger Pack. I don't know when that's going to be the max. I'm guessing it's two weeks, but it's, you know, it's, it's not going to be two weeks. It's just going to be, like, one. Trust me, like, Target's going to deliver it on August 11th, but we're going to go to Target, like, probably again, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take that chance before I know that I don't have a chance of getting it. So, we're moving the one and only Bumpster in here. Here's Darius. Uh, let's just give you that size comparison right now to your Darius figure. And actually, quite big. Quite big of a figure. Now, it's going to. So, first, um, just when you look at it, you're like, oh, that's Moby. Yeah, it is, like... It is great. This is such a nice figure. Uh, we are going to try to knock over some people during this review. Because, yep, he knocks people over. She. Gosh. Um, okay, so we are gonna go over the sculpt first. Uh, just very quickly, because we gotta get into the review. So you can see, I actually really like how the paint- Okay, wait, we're doing that later. So, really nice bumpy, uh, <laughs> bumpy sculpt. Um, the eye is spot on. The beak is really, really nice. You can actually see, like, a, a little flesh flap or, like, the bone thing here. The beak is paint is made really well. You can also see the little lines on the bumps, and you can clearly see that uh, one is bigger than the other, so I really like that little detail that they put in there. Uh... This, I think they actually hit it pretty well, like, if you're just looking at, at that from far, you can't tell too much. Uh, but, you know, you can still tell, but they hit it well. Yeah, Kalosaurus Club is great, and this is a more anticipated figure than normal for me, because I actually don't have a full-grown Ankylosaurus, so, yeah. And the, the bunny plates on the back are really nice. This is practically, I've seen pictures, this is the body sculpt. It's practically just the old Ankylosaurus except this part. But, uh, okay, let's get into the articulation now. So, we have, uh, let's bring the Scorpius Rex right here. So, we have the same kind of face that Scorpius Rex had, but they kind of brought that to the next level because they have that really nice twist around joint here for Bumpy. Bump Bumpy can also go all the way around, which is really nice, and you can get some cool poses out of that. Okay, and then you have your leg articulation, arm articulation, whatever you want me to call it. I believe these can go out, yeah, they can go out. This one goes out less than this one for me, I don't know. That's probably like different for you, but this is how mine is. So this one is really stiff. Uh, that's probably gonna be fixed later over time. But so I'll show you with this one, they do go in and out. I do have a little stopping point here, so you know, this is how it is recommended to stand up because it's like a set pose pretty much. And let's get into the paint now. So, I actually really like how this isn't spot on the bumps because it gives it like a cool little effect, you know? Like, it, I don't know, it just looks really cool to me. And same thing here the eye is spot on, the beak and the horns are great. Really, really nice. So, this is actually this, and this are separate plastics. And. They actually made this rubbery, like this bumpy. And this part's also rubber. If you can see that, yeah. 
And then you can see a little seam line here. This is also rubber though. This is painted really well. I like the fade. I also like the uh, blue here. Uh, I would have preferred that they put some, uh, actually I wouldn't, but just it would be a bit nicer if they put some uh, white paint on here, but I really don't care. It doesn't take any anything away because it's nicely painted here. It's nicely painted here, and there's this really cool effect on it right here that all the bumpy figures have had, but this one's not really sculpted, but it, it gets away with it because, you know, it's it's just bumpy. Now, one thing, this is just a little pet peeves that I did just about the show. I would have mildly preferred if they made this bumpy figure a bit smaller than the actual Ankylosaurus mold because they kind of made it bigger with this bigger head. But I would have preferred if it was a bit smaller, like if you've seen Camp Creation Season 3. Okay, seriously, if you haven't seen Camp Creation Season 3 yet, I don't care. I'm spoiling it because it's been out for like almost two months, probably over two months. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm, I'm just uh, sorry. But it, it, she was um actually like pretty small, and they went around, surrounded her. Like I don't I don't know. But I was expecting Bumpy to be the same size when I was watching season three, but when it got to the Scorpius Rex in Ankylosaurus battle scene, Bumpy was like, pretty small compared to the other um other Ankylosauruses because they showed you like a top view and everything. But uh, it, it's just a little pet peeves, and she's gonna grow in the show anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. So, but here's what you may be thinking: the mechanism does not take out the sculpt at all. It it looks great, and they did hide it really well. Like, look at that. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, but you know. So it is that slide action from the roar attacks. I'm gonna give you like a view like this. Uh, or maybe I should just give you the view like that. You know, let's give you guys the view like that. So you pull it like that. And it moves a tiny bit, just like that. You know, not too much, not too much. Then we get some more. She's she's about, she's, she's ready. And we have that big, uh, big thing. And uh, if you like, you can... one full action which I love because it just looks so so natural you know but uh yeah let's get some uh get some knocking down let's put Darius right here okay that was pretty good I want to see that in slow motion though you all want to see that in slow motion? Yeah, we should do that in slow motion. Okay, yeah, I mean, that was pretty cool. But, um, the action feature really works. Yep, but I think I think you all know what I'm about to do. Wait, before we do that, uh, if you if you didn't know, here's a here's a shout out. But uh, uh, what I'm about to bring out the uh, dinosaur that I was gonna bring out was actually my most anticipated figure of last year. I just thought it was a little little cool thing. But uh, come on, guys, you really thought I wasn't gonna do this? It, it's it's the Bumpy Mountain, Bumpy Evolutionary Mountain. Yep, that's it. That's what you've been waiting for. That's all you've ever wanted. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's compare her to the uh, the one and only Toro, my favorite character in season one of King Cretaceous. Uh, yep, I have to do Toro like that. Squeeze the camera just a bit. I think she yep in frame. 
Yep, so you can recreate that scene. If you have the pen pack, I'm going to get that, don't worry. P pretty much all the humans I'm going to get, just, just wait for it. Darius will be reviewed, just like I said, <laughs> wait for it. I don't have the Darius human pack, I have the camp adventure set, just if you are excited for something. So you can make Toro, like run on this way, you can make Bumpy going, like uh, you can have Bumpy try and knock down Toro. I wonder if Toro Bumpy could. But uh, Toro can reach out on Bumpy if you. Yeah. Bumpy can. I mean, Toro can grab on there. And uh, the Scorpius Rex can come over. Again, this, this ain't got a source, this isn't Bumpy. This is like the head one, remember when it like. I'd so hard to scratch it up. And I know this looks absolutely huge and close to the camera, but this is real. Like, I'm pushing this against the wall and bumpy against the wall, and that's the actual size of Scorpius Rex. Um, on my Instagram, I showed a picture of a comparison of the Scorpius Rex and the biggest, like, T Rex to come out, like, in a little bit. Uh, the Stomp and rule stop and attack t-rex it's as big as that so when you're getting that scorpius it is a big figure but we are not here for you scorpius but there's something that uh that i i have to do flip over bumpy we all know that's never happening okay let's see if bumpy the, uh, or can get down a Scorpius Rex. Not a good chance, but is there a chance that Bumpy can knock out Bumpy? Okay, we have Bumpy right here. Sort of. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. Uh, let's let's put Bumpy like that. Yeah. If Bumpy will go like that, please go like that, Bumpy. Okay. Bumpy's a bit taller now. Maybe Bumpy will get to the Okay, bump, bump. Bumpy's really just you know saving herself right here. But uh, let's just get get the evolution. Right here. I have baby bumpy. So my thoughts on this figure, uh let's get the camera down. My thoughts on this figure. It's great. If you want bumpy at all bumpy, get this one. Don't even try to repaint one. This is probably the best ankylosaurus gimmick you're gonna get. The best bumpy head head, head sculpt you're gonna get because that's not drastic at all. Sure, it is, like you can tell, but this one really, really shows the head bump difference. And this one, I think they might actually be the exact same. No, no microscopic difference, but not as good as this one. This one did that perfectly. But I think the show, that it might have been, no, it was pretty visible when she was younger. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I definitely remember that. But, uh, I'm not bringing the McDonald's figure in. That can be just a completely, entirely different thing. But I refuse to bring the, the McDonald's one in for this review right now. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the review. See ya.